from New York City. You're watching Hoda and Jenna. Let's get this party started! From NBC News, in Studio 6A in Rockefeller Plaza, this is Today with Hoda and Jenna and... friends kicking off this Friday and a special thank you to Donna is that your name Donna who, who did our announce just now Donna is happens to be a dancer at the Lion King on Broadway on Broadway okay, Donna cool. we're happy you're here with us Ben it's some... I love you guys we oh, love you back oh Y'all, that was Mad Marge up in our DJ yeah. booth <laughs> we're so happy you guys are spending your Friday with us <laughs> oh, look at us relaxing yes. on this fine Friday, you guys. We're so happy that you're here. We are. Okay, it's, uh, it's the weekend. We love to kick off the weekend with a fun jam, okay? How about Blake and Garth? Woo! Garth and Blake. Woo! Blake and, and Garth. Garth. Yeah. There's so much to admire about those two guys because whenever uh, Blake loves his girl, yes. Gwen, which I'm fine with. I mean, Are you fine. sure? Because you I'm seem totally like you're having a little totally bit of a fun. problem. But how about Garth? Whenever he comes to Studio 1A and he's come before and he talks about Trisha and he calls her his queen. Yes. Y'all, it's the sweetest thing. One time she was on and he tweeted... We were interviewing her. He tweeted at me, and it said, please tell my girl that she looks beautiful today. Y'all, he also, when I interviewed him one time, and I loved Garth Brooks yes. growing up. I mean, if you were an 80s Texas yeah. girl or 90s, yeah. y'all know. We yeah. had his posters. We listened yes. to his music. And I was nervous to meet him. And I walk in, and he takes off his hat, and he said, how are you doing, ma'am? He's, I was like, I'm not a ma'am, but he mailed you? He's so polite and loves his wife. He and loves like, his wife. How can we raise every man to be like that? I know. There are certain guys who are in that category. I also think Drew Brees is in that category, don't you think? They're, he's, the, he's the quarterback for the New Orleans Saints who is, there are just certain men mm -hmm. that you wonder, like, what did their moms and dads do that they turned out to be that good? Yes. And can't you tell a guy who, like, Stands either... Stands up. Well, and can't you tell a guy who doesn't? Oh, like, yeah. have you ever seen that? Like, you know the guy who just busts through the door himself right. and you're just standing right behind it? Like, you're like, who, who <laughs> are you? First of all, I always look, and I hate to did say this. Did you ever date him? Well, I did, we've all, you didn't date a guy oh. like this? I always look to see if there's a wedding ring because I wonder if someone tolerates that. No. Like, that's the I first mean, thing I do, look at. Then, but I actually, um, my daughter's fascinated with the life, our dating lives before she, her father and I got married. So she asked my parents over Christmas, Mila, is she a asked, little romantic. Wait, so she asked you. She what? said, what was mommy's boyfriend like before daddy? And she my, asked your mom and dad? Mom and dad at oh, like God. Christmas dinner, oh, you know? No. Oh, no. And my dad was like, remember that one? <laughs> and, and he would never stand up and help my mom. Like he would come for holidays and stuff and he would never stand up and help my mom. And she would even say like, can you come help? And he would just lay there. Can I tell you? Well, something? don't worry, I dumped him. <laughs> <laughs> I think sometimes it's like about the tiniest gesture in the world. Um, my mom was visiting over the weekend and she likes to have her bag by the door when it's time to leave. She just likes it there, okay? By the way. Everybody has their thing. Do you? I kind of like yes, that too. I was gonna say. So my mom walks down the stairs, it's seven in the morning. Joel and I are in the kitchen. He's in his, you know, bare feet and he's got his like Sesame Street dad number oh. two t-shirt for Haley's birthday. And my mom goes, well, my bag is all ready. And now we're not leaving till 10:30 or 11. But she she wanted the bag. So you know what Joel did? He looked at me and he looked at her and goes, Sammy, I'll, I'll be right back. Let me go grab that. He went up. He brought the bag down. He put it by the door. Just because it's like a language of love. Yes. It's like peace of mind. And I looked at Joel and I said, I have never loved you more than like right now. Because you did that one little thing that I knew made my mom feel good. Mm -hmm. And you realize, like, if you listen to your loved ones, they'll, t they'll tell you what they want. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's so small. You don't have to do anything but major. But also, you didn't have to say anything. Yes, he like, just that's added. that's the key. Yes. And he just knew. Usually with men, you have to say it like seven times. The garbage, the garbage. Are you going to get it? I feel bad because, by the way, some really nice men came with their wives today. I see about five in the we audience. I want to thank the men. Look, raise your hand. Came with 
wonder why. You guys are getting, we should point out, such brownie points. And y'all are, are the Garths and the Blakes and the everybody else. And the Drews, yeah. And the Jules. And the, and the Henrys. And the Henrys. And the not my ex-boyfriend. <laughs>